Do you have a goal that you just don't seem to be able to hit? Like something that you keep repeatedly saying, I want to achieve this. It might be a money goal. It might be that you want to start selling your art. It might be that you want to have a studio space and you just don't seem to be making it happen. I have been thinking about this a lot recently because I have had a money goal for the last three years, I think it is now, and I get nowhere near that money goal. And so this year and the end of last year, I've been really paying attention to why is that goal not happening? And I wanted to share today the top three ways I've been looking at my goal and applying myself differently towards making it happen. So for me, and this has happened a lot with different goals too, where I've repeatedly put the same goal every year and it isn't happening. And so I think the first part of this process is asking why, why is this not happening? And sometimes you can't pinpoint it by asking the question though, it sometimes then guides you towards finding the answer eventually. So I always think whenever I ask myself a question, I'm not always immediately looking for the answer to come that minute. So I ask, I probe, and then I start to find my way. And I think one of the top things that has helped me with my goals is actually number one, having a clearly defined goal. So if the goal is hazy, and it's not really measurable, and you can't really define it, it will never happen in my experience. Because it's what I've said before in previous workshops when I've run them, that if you say I want to travel, until you've actually defined that and decide where you want to go, it's a loose term that you'll just keep saying over and over again. I would love to travel. I'd love to travel. I'd love to travel. I'd love to have my own studio. I'd love to be making art more. And you don't ever actually make it happen. So that's the first step is having that clearly defined goal. Now, with me and my money goal, that was clearly defined. And so for me, when I create money goals, I always have a good, better, best goal. And this year, I have been aiming for my best goal. And it's been my best goal for, for three years, like I said at the beginning. And I, um, until this year, I have not really been moving anywhere near close to hitting it. And it's felt like a very, very distant dream. So although it was clearly defined, it still wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for me to head towards it. I had it there on my bedside table <laughs> so that I could see it. I was thinking about it on a regular basis. So I was saying that I want to hit the goal. Nothing was happening. So that's where this year I've been going, why? Why is this not happening? So having a clearly defined goal is the first step. The second step, and this is where I think I have been falling down a little bit, is that I didn't have a, a plan. So this part, again, is important. And I think it throws people because... Sometimes if you've got a big goal and you don't know how to hit it, you just need to have a plan to at least get halfway or even the first step. And so for me, what I've realized now is over the last three years, I've had the, the, the defined goal and I feel like I've been playing around with hitting it. But the last three years I feel have been integral in playing around with, oh, well, why don't I try this? Why don't I try that? Without that, I wouldn't have got any closer. So say three years ago, I'm here. I, without doing anything, I'd still be here, like at the starting point for those listening. And then for me, after the last three years, it feels like I've just been like, oh, I've got nowhere near the goal. But actually I have taken a few steps forward in the last three years of feeling like I'm not getting anywhere, but I have, because it has been in the forefront of my mind, the goal. But now I realise that I just didn't have a proper plan in place to hit that particular number. And I think one of the reasons why was, one, I didn't believe that it was possible. Two, it felt like it was going to be hard work. <laughs> um, and three, I didn't really know how. Like, I, ha I had a bit of an idea, but I was kind of thinking, well, I'd have to, I've got a membership, I'd have to grow that by thousands of people if I wanted to hit that goal. So I wasn't really understanding 
how I could put a plan into place. And so, like I say, from the last three years of thinking, well, if I wanted to hit it, what would I have to grow? Through that confusion has now led me to this year with clarity of, wow, I know what my plan is and now I've got a clear plan. And like I say, it's been three years of questioning and questioning and questioning. And then this year I can clearly see what plan I need to put into place and it incorporates different things and it's really exciting and it feels like it's finally coming together. And so that plan is important. And like I say, even if you don't know the full plan of how you're going to hit it, like me three years ago, you just need to know what's the next step. You need to start asking the questions and putting the plan into place because with that, the next year, the next year, the next year, you'll finally in three years go, I know how to hit my best goal. And what a feeling that is when you three years ago thought that best goal was insane and crazy and unachievable, that now three years on, I'm growing and I'm thinking, actually, I think that's becoming my better goal, my best goal bigger than that one now. So uh, I love this process of growth and you can apply it to any kind of goal, not just money. I'm talking specifically about money because that's what I'm focused on this year is hitting that money goal. And it's not just about the money. It's about everything that that money brings. And that's what I've been focusing on, thinking about how if we hit that goal, how United Art Space will grow and the team that we could, you know, expand and uh, the impact it would have on more and more people and that brings me to the third the third point of goal setting and why you might not be hitting your goal it's bringing passion vigor and conviction to your goal so for a while I had my financial goal and I was just saying it and I was kind of skirting around achieving it, but I didn't really believe it. You know, there's all this mindset stuff going on and confusion around how to hit it. This year, I have been like, right, this is the year I'm going for it. This is the year I'm going to apply myself every single day to bring myself back to the plan and question if I'm not hitting it and where I'm going and surrounding myself with the right people that can elevate me towards that goal. I've been so intentional this year of bringing myself back daily, visualizing it, asking the questions of who do I need to be around to make this goal feel achievable and normalize the goal because it felt so scary and now I've surrounded myself with people that go yeah of course you can hit that goal you know and it, honestly being around the right people I feel is everything when you are around the right people who can support your goal and guide you towards the next point be there to go of course you can do this is so important and so for me when I want to bring that conviction that vigor that is what brings a goal to life. And for me to bring that conviction was thinking about the impact that this can have on United Art Space, on myself, on my life, on others. And that's what got me excited. And also seeing other people achieve the goal has got me excited and wanting to do it. So I think whatever you can bring to that will then help you execute the plan it will help you figure out the next stages of the plan if you can't see the long-term plan it will get you excited every day and where, where are we now we're in may so we're january february january february march april may five months in. i still feel so excited like i did in january and by applying myself every day with conviction on since january i am feeling more and more like this goal is achievable this goal is exciting and I'm start, it's all starting to fall into place. So as much as possible, when you have your sight set on something, as much as you can bring yourself to that daily, infuse it with your why, the passion, what it means to you, the more you will set that intention. Because there is a big difference between saying, oh, I'd love to make 30,000. I'd love to make 30,000. Oh, yeah, 30,000. I'd be able to go on holiday. Yeah, I'd love to make 30,000. There's a difference between that and actually going, right, this is the year I'm going to make 30,000. This is the year I'm going to think about this and I'm going to work out a plan to make it happen. This is the year I'm going to apply myself and put myself around the right people. Let's figure this out. And honestly, there's a difference in energy 
between those two ways of approaching a goal and you might not hit it with that conviction like you know when I when I think back to the goals that I've set you might not get there in year one but if you keep applying that same mentality you will find a way to get there <laughs> and this is why I like the fact that I've never let go of that goal that I've got to admit over the last three years I just thought you know I'm chasing something that just isn't realistic and I'm so glad I didn't give up because now I can see this year it's not unrealistic this is absolutely achievable wow <laughs> I, I had no idea I had this in me and anyway so they're the three so just to recap number one is having a clearly defined goal, a clearly defined place where you want to arrive. A caveat to that though, is to not pin all your hopes on that. You know, arriving at that goal is not gonna make you happy. You've gotta find that happiness within you now. It's a goal to make you um, understand the steps you need to take to get there. I always say this, you know, don't pin your hopes and happiness on the goal. That you've gotta find now. So I just wanted to just say that. I use them because I want to grow as a person. I want to explore life. I want to learn more about myself and what I'm capable of. So that goal is there to help me grow and achieve. And you might end up going towards the goal and veering off in different directions, which is fine. But having that clearly defined goal in the beginning is important, I believe, because then you can put the plan into place to go, right, OK, how can I make this happen? What's the next step? What do I need to learn? Who do I need to be, do, have to make that goal happen? How can I put the plan into place, even if it's just the, the first step? And then if you're going to take action on that plan, you need to have that vigor, that conviction, bring passion and energy to that goal. Think about it daily. Visualize it. Be excited about making it happen. Talk about it. Think about it often. OK, there you go, my friends. Let me know how you're going. If you goal set, you might not be a goal setter. You probably will if you're listening to this. though. <laughs> so let me know how you found that and let me know how you go with it as well. Apply it over the next, you know, few days even and see if there's a change in how you feel about it, because I think that's a lot of it is how you feel and that belief that you have that you can make this happen. Have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.